Hey, so in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the number one mistake that advertisers are making and how to fix it. And it means the difference between a failing campaign and one that is wildly profitable. Let's talk about it. So firstly, if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is John Pemothy. I'm the founder of adclients.com and I teach entrepreneurs and business owners how to grow their businesses profitably online. And today, we're gonna to be talking about one of the biggest mistakes that I see advertisers, marketers, online entrepreneurs making that is continuing to force their campaigns to fail. And the worst part is, if you keep making this mistake, it's one that's very difficult to identify as a problem. Because if you're making this mistake, you actually feel like you're doing the right thing. You feel like you're making a good decision and actually it's throttling your growth and it is, it is throttling your ability to grow and scale and actually be profitable in your business. So do me a favor right now, pause the video and let me know in the comments box, what do you think this mistake is? Is it something to do with paid traffic? Is it something to do with conversions? Something to do with the sales funnel? What do you think it is? Pause right now and let me know in the comments box, all right? So here's how the whole, um, how, how a marketing campaign typically looks, right? You've got your sales funnel, perhaps that's a series of pages. If you're doing, let, let's just say for example, you're using a webinar funnel. So you've got your registration page, you've got your confirmation page, you've got your, the webinar itself, and then you've got perhaps some, let's say F for follow-up. And the goal is obviously wanna make some sales out the other end. So you have your sales funnel, perhaps for the past I don't know, few months, for some of you, years, you've been trying to build a funnel in the right way, get the messaging right, you've gone through endless trainings, you've gone to different conferences, different uh, coaching programs to try and figure this part out. Perhaps you even spent months just trying to identify what it is you actually want to sell. Is it gonna be an online course? Is it gonna be a coaching? Is it gonna be an event? Is it gonna be a service-based business? Do you have an agency? Whatever it is, you've been trying to ident identify this thing and we spend so long on this stuff here and there's nothing wrong with that. That's not the mistake, right? You've got to build a high converting funnel. In fact, if you've done it this way around, you're doing the right thing because before we talk about traffic, right, which is the final piece that we're going to send to this, before we talk about traffic, you need to have this identified first. We can't turn on traffic until we know who it is we're trying to serve, what we're trying to sell them and what funnel it is that we're going to be using. Okay, now we're still not at the mistake yet, but one thing that most people understand about paid traffic is, oh sorry, about traffic generation is that you need to be using paid traffic. Okay, this is, I mean, you just, you just have to, right? If you're starting your business and you're trying to get it off the ground and you're trying to get momentum and just get some sales through and get some proof of concept, get some data in that you can that, that you can analyze and see how your funnel's converting, how is the traffic, you know, uh, going. Like if you if you if you think you can just start your business by putting a couple articles on a blog and just fingers crossed hope someone sees it on Google or constantly do those Facebook lives where you have four people show up and two of them are your family members and you know, that, that's not a way to grow a business. So I think we, we all agree, you're probably agreeing with me anyway, that you need paid traffic. Paid traffic is that ability to go ahead and spend $100 on traffic and make two or $300 out the other end of you know, sales of your product or your coaching. And if you can do that, you're suddenly in control, right? You have the power. You can continue to spend as much as you want on paid traffic, and continue to produce as much revenue for your company as you want. And it's this process using paid traffic that's allowed me to scale into multiple six figures every single month. My company does about four million a year right now and it's because we've mastered paid traffic. When it comes to traffic generation, free traffic or paid traffic, you're paying for something either way, right? You're either gonna pay for the traffic with your money and put a little bit up front and invest in your business or you're gonna, you're gonna you know, count the pennies and pull those back and you're gonna spend your time. And time is one of the most, if not the most valuable commodity that you have. It's one of the only things you can't get back, right? Spend some money, you can get it back, okay? But you can't get time back. So I don't wanna spend my time slaving away over traffic generation. I wanna just be able to pay a little bit um, and, and make more back and have this little engine that keeps churning. Now, just a side note, if you wanna learn what type of paid traffic is best, I've got videos on my channel that talk about YouTube advertising. YouTube ads are absolutely crushing it for us right now. I suggest you go check out some of those videos on the channel. 
Here's the big mistake, okay? The big mistake that people are making is they will spend $100 on traffic. They will make out the other end $50 or perhaps zero. And what do they do? They do not focus on this stuff here. They only focus on the traffic. And what they're focusing on is they wanna get cheaper traffic, right? I spent $100 on my ads and I've only made $50 back. So I need to go ahead and get cheaper traffic. I need to try and get you know the same amount of traffic to come through for $20. So I actually make $30 out the other end. And this trap that you can fall into can be all consuming. You may not have even experienced you know, spending a bit and making a bit back. You just may have fallen into this trap even earlier on, right? And some of you watching this video, you, you have been in this mode. In fact, this is why there's some traffic offers online. What I mean by that is people that are uh, promoting you know, a training that they have or a coaching that they have where they're gonna show you how to get traffic, but a really popular, exciting, sexy angle as I'm gonna show you how to get the cheapest traffic online. I'm gonna show you how to get traffic for pennies on the dollar. I'm gonna show you how to get um, you know, clicks to your website for you know, two cents a piece. And this has been a marketing message that the gurus you know, that out there are using and it lures people in because it's a really exciting prospect. Getting cheaper traffic, we have this ingrained in our head. If I can only get super cheap traffic, then I'll be able to make money with any funnel. Okay, and it's a really, really dangerous place to be. If you're constantly trying to get the cheapest traffic, constantly turning off ad campaigns that are not, um, are not cheap enough, right, then you're gonna lose. If you're trying to get you know, your cost per, cost per lead onto your email list low, and if it's too high, you know, then you're gonna turn that campaign off, you are never gonna be able to scale. I'm just gonna say it as bluntly as that. You just will not be able to. Okay, the people that are gonna win are the people that can focus on this side of things and get the conversion up, okay? Because newsflash, traffic is only going up, right? The cost of traffic is only going up. Facebook ads is getting more expensive. YouTube ads will get more expensive. As more big companies cotton on to this social media age and start running ads, you are gonna get pushed out. How are you gonna be able to keep yourself on a solid foundation and not get pushed out? It's that you can afford to pay more to acquire traffic and remain profitable. So if I'm spending $100 on paid traffic, and I know that the, the numbers are okay, it's not, they're not superhuman numbers, but they're, they're workable, then I'm gonna spend some time over here. I'm gonna spend some time tweaking this funnel, working on my offer, getting the conversion rate up, okay? Now, by the way, this is subject to this traffic, I guess, being um, at least somewhere in, in, in a range that uh, is workable for me, right? If you spent $100 and you got one click to your website, so you're spending $100 a click, then of course there's a problem with your traffic. That's different. I'm not talking about running paid traffic and there genuinely being an issue. The traffic is way too expensive and it's, you know, then fine, there's some tweaks needed over here. I'm just talking about general traffic generation. If the costs are looking okay, but you're freaking out trying to go, well, I, I know that someone can get, uh, you know, clicks for a penny and I'm paying 20 cents, so I'm gonna shut everything off that's not giving me traffic for a penny. Okay, it's a really, really dangerous place to be. If you look at your registration page, let's say the registration page was converting at 10%. Do you realize that if you, and this is just, I mean, this, this stuff's common sense, but it's not till you really identify it that you realize how powerful this is. If you could just work on your registration page, change your headline, change the, the other bits of copy, change the design, change the feel, change the angle of your message you know, on your ads that lead them here, if you can just bump this up to 20%, if you can double your opt-in rate, which by the way is not difficult, I've seen it time and time again with some of our private clients. All right, we work with them and we give them some tweaks for their headline and we give them some feedback on the page. And we've seen literally opt-in pages double, sometimes triple. Do you understand that if everything else in the funnel remains the same, which there's no reason why it wouldn't, you've basically doubled your business. So now out the other end, you'd be making $100.
and you're making $100 because you were making 50 from 10% of people coming through here. You've doubled this now to 20. So you're getting double the amount of people coming through into your funnel. So ultimately you're gonna make double the revenue. Now suddenly 100 to 100, it's break even, it's looking better. You see what I'm saying? Now, if we can tweak the capture page, we're obviously using a webinar funnel right now as an example. So if we can tweak the capture page and get the attendance rate up, imagine if we could get the attendance rate from 25% to 50%. Now, again, we've done this. We work with our clients on this. We show them all the ninja stuff that we do on this capture, or sorry, on this um, confirmation page to double attendance rate. It's happened time and time again. So now you've doubled it again. So now you're at 200 from the same traffic source, the same spend, the same budget, same platform, all you've done is you've started to work on some of these key pieces in your funnel and you've doubled your business here. You could even double your business again here. And what if we could double the business with your webinar? What if there were some tweaks we could make here? What if there were some tweaks we could make in the follow-up to double sales? Like you could realistically, be looking at getting 400 out of that same traffic just by tweaking the funnel, right? Now, the, the, the bigger advantage to this, of course, the advantage firstly is you're making more money and you're actually now profitable. But the, the greater advantage is that you are gonna be head and shoulders over your competition. You're not always gonna be at the bottom of the pile. The person that is scratching at pennies trying to get really cheap traffic is always gonna lose to someone else who can pay more, right? Like, Think about, think about a, a, a company like Coca-Cola. This is a, a gigantic example, all right? Not something that is um, hugely relatable to our industry, but it serves the purpose of this point, right? Coca-Cola, they are such a gigantic company. They have a huge marketing budget. They don't even track all of their marketing. How can they? If you see Coca-Cola go along the side of a bus, they don't know how many people saw that and then proceeded to go buy a can of Coke. So they're just putting money left, right, center because they're a billion dollar company. They, they have the financial resource to do that. So if Coca-Cola was advertising on a certain platform that you wanted to have the same space, right? You wanted to advertise on that same place. Who's going to win? They're going to win because they can afford to spend more than you. They will engulf you, right? And it's the same thing here on a much smaller scale. If you right now, this sounds really arrogant, but if you go up against me on one of these ad platforms and we're competing for traffic, right? You're, you're gonna have a hard time beating me because I make sure that my funnels convert so highly that I can afford to pay more. And I'm not scratching the pennies, right? So in fact, I was having this conversation with someone in our, in our platinum groups, my highest level coaching. I was having a one-to-one -one with one of my, one of my clients and, and uh, they were sharing, it was quite, I found it really interesting. I'm sure they'll be fine with me sharing this. They were talking about how they had this really, really big issue um, and we needed to get on a one-to-one -to, -one to talk about it. And I was thinking, okay, fine. So I've got my notes ready and, and we jump on this call. And he says, you know, I just, my Facebook ads aren't working, you know, so I've shut all my ads off. And, um, and so, you know, I need, I need your help. And I was like, okay, well, let's talk about this. So he started going through the numbers and I started asking, how much have you paid on traffic? Right? How much is it costing you to get a, a, a click? How much is it costing you to get a lead? How much is, and we went through all the numbers and we, we ended up finding out that he, was, he, he had some campaigns that were spending $2 to get a lead, right? To get someone into his world. Some of them were $2, right? And so the first week or two, he was getting leads for two bucks. And he was like, man, I'm on cloud nine. This is amazing. We're making a ton of money out of that. This is fantastic. And then he said, but then it all, it all went, it all went pear-shaped. They started climbing up. My lead cost went up to five. Then it went up to seven. And he said it was like staying around seven. And so he decided he had to turn it all off. And it was broken. It wasn't working. And, and so I said to him, well, hold on a minute. What, what do you mean by not working? He's like, well, I used to get leads for two bucks and it went to seven. So I've had to shut everything off. So I reverse engineered his numbers with him. You know what we found out? You want to know the value of a lead to him meaning he's paying or would be paying $7 a lead. What's the value of that lead? A lead that then comes in once they go through the funnel. On average, what's it worth? It was worth $22. His value per lead was $22. So I said, why on earth are you shutting off campaigns where you're spending seven? And he said the same thing again, because I know I can get them for two. 
But I said, but what you've just done right now is you've shut off a winning campaign that is actually making money. In fact, those numbers are phenomenal. Seven bucks in, $22 you know, dollars back out. That's really, really good. And his, his whole mindset needed a shift because he thought, oh, but I need to shut it off because it's got too expensive. So he could have kept this campaign off and been making $15 every single lead that comes in or shut off the whole campaign and literally be making zero, which is what he was doing for the past few weeks until we had our one-to-one. -one. So he had a big breakthrough on that one-to-one -one. and you know what the big breakthrough was? Turn your flipping ads back on. What are you playing at, right? So you just turn them back on and he's winning again. You know, if you can afford to pay more, then you're gonna beat out all these other people that are constantly trying to get cheaper traffic and you're gonna win, okay? This is the game of advertising. This is the biggest mistake that people are making. And if you can truly master this and truly understand this, you are gonna be head and shoulders over everyone else in your industry. So anyway, hope that was helpful for you. I hope you've learned something here. And by the way, if you're interested, we've got some space on our calendar this week where you can talk to someone on my team about how we can help you achieve this kind of stuff, right? If you are a trainer, an educator, a coach, if you have something of value that you wanna be packaging up, selling, building a high converting funnel for, and then turning on profitable paid traffic, we'd love to chat to you. Okay, there's a link in the description box and the top comment that will take you to a video that will explain a little bit about um, how this call works and, and how my coaching works. And if it feels like a good fit, you can jump on a call with someone on my team and we'll find out where you're stuck, where you need to get to, how we can get you there, and then see if my coaching, my personal mentorship would be a good fit for you. So go ahead and check that link out uh, if that would interest you. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Go ahead and hit the bell notification as you do so, so you can be notified of future videos. I'm putting out a couple new videos here every single week. And finally, do me a favor, hit the like button and leave me a comment. That's, that really, really helps us on this channel here. It's the only way I know that you're actually getting value from these videos. So go ahead and do that and I'll see you in a future video.